Hey everyone, you've got our Leos here, and today we are looking at unlocking the new or old Skolomance for the new vendor that's opened up in Naxxramas. So if you're looking for some of the new transmog patterns or how to get the new vendor, this is a quick look at how we're going to do that. So first thing, you need to find someone who has Krastanov's Bag of Horrors. If you don't have it, I'd recommend finding someone who does, uh, or you're going to have to farm it. It's going to take you a little bit of time. Uh, you need to get your Argent Dawn Commission. That's something that's quite important. Um, and find a friend to help with the run. It's just going to make things a whole lot easier. Um, so first thing we're going to do is to go into the Skolomance that you can zone into. I'm actually going in with my friend Zazzy right now. He has Krastanov Bag of Horrors, and he's going to help me out through the run. Um, yeah, so... Grab a friend. So you're going to need dark runes later. Um, so if you want to kill any of the caster mobs and look for dark runes, you will need them. I think you need four of them total. Um, so it might be worth looting. Or you can go pay 100 or so gold each for them on the auction house uh, when you need them later. So here's just a little bit of a sped up view of me going through Skullamance. Uh, kill the bosses. You can grab some transmog if you don't already have it off of here. Alright, so in the last room, we are going on the top floor where uh, Krasanov normally goes. So we have to kill the boss first. It opens up the rooms. We go back up the stairs. And we are looking for his room. One in the middle. Alright, so there's a little pile of bones. And whoever has the Krasanov Bag of Horrors trinket is going to use it in front of this pile of bones. And it's going to make a ghost visible to you. So once he finds it... Uh, list here. Alright, there we go. So, their little ghost has spawned. You can talk to them, go through their flavor text. And you're also going to notice a bone that's lootable now in that pile. Um, if you are not able to loot the bone, then it likely means you've already completed that part uh, and you don't need to go talk to all the ghosts and get their, their candles. But uh, this is what I had to do. So I have to loot the femur. And then I have to go find her journal. So this is Eva is the ghost. So they do have the journal a little bit hidden here. We're going to exit this room, exit the headmaster's study, and just head off to our left in the next room. There are going to be two bookshelves, um, and it's actually behind one of the bookshelves, so it's in the viewing room. So it's right off to the left-hand side. You see the two bookshelves, and if you get in just behind them, you can see that it's hidden in there. They're very sneaky. There we go. So, um, now you want to run out of the instance. Do not hearth, as we have to do stuff outside the instance now. So, here's just a little sped up run of me getting out of here. Again, looting things just to make sure that you're not getting any dark runes. Saves you buying them. I think with the two or three runs that I did, I only got one dark rune, so... I ended up having 20 on an alt from before, but uh, they're not that expensive if you have to buy them. Okay, so we are out of the instance now, and we are going to head just outside to the left. You can talk to Eva's ghost, and she's going to tell you what to do for the next part. So this is old school, it's not actually a quest, she just tells you what needs to be done. We actually just have to go collect five candles, and in order for the ghost to give us candles, we have to collect a bunch of different things for them. Um, we do need a spectral essence to be able to see the ghost. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to fly over now to Anderhall, which is in Western Plaguelands, and we're looking for the Town Hall. A little bit of a speed up here. Now, once you enter the Town Hall, it's going to be on the right-hand side wall. There's like a poster hanging on the wall that we're going to loot. All right, entering... Right hand side, I've walked past it because I'm blind. There we go, poster on the wall. It's the deed to Anderhall. Now we're going to head to Darrowshire, which is in Eastern Plaguelands. So again, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Zoom, zoom. Uh, this whole part, just unlocking the Nax uh, to be able to get the grappling hook, took me about an hour. So this video is sped up just in the unlock part for the Skolomance and getting into Nax. Again, it's about an hour for me. I did a little bit of extra flying around that I didn't need to do, um, but for the most part, that's how long it takes. Alright, so in Darrowshire, we've got a uh, lootable doll at the meat wagon. Meat wagon? 
That's right, Goth. A meat wagon. <laughs> Next, we're heading over to Corrin's Crossing. We're heading into the inn in Corrin's Crossing. And there's going to be a painting on the wall just inside to the right. There it is. Wall painting. Go ahead and loot it. This is, again, one of the things we need to trade the ghosts in order to um, get the candles from them. So now we're heading to Stratholme. I actually uh, made a detour to Light's Hope Chapel thinking I could pick up my Argent Commission here, um, but I could not. Uh, if you want your Argent Commission back, you're going to have to go to Western Plague Lands to get it. Uh, it was not available for me at Light Soap Chapel. So that was uh, five minutes wasted there. All right, now we're going into Strat Home. Just a fairly quick visit in here. So it's off to the left-hand side. There is going to be a cart with a package in the very back. So you kind of have to walk past the cart a little bit to be able to see it. So as I scroll my camera around here, then I will be able to see it. There we go. All right, so again, sneaky little package hidden in the back. Go ahead and loot that one. All right, now we're going back to Skolomance to get our five candles uh, from the ghosts. They're just right around the Skolomance instance. So again, spade this up a little bit, flying back to where we need to go. So the little island right around Skolomance, uh, that's where they are. I'm going to start on the docks when you come in. This is where the first ghost is. Uh, so you do need to, to equip your Spectral Essence Trinket. This will allow you to see the ghosts and interact with them. So here we go. First one's called Rory. He's on the docks. We will buy the candle with the item that we've already looted. So we've already gotten the items that we need. Next one's in the house, just opposite the docks. Her name is Artist Renfrey. I'm not sure why I'm not flying here. All right, so now we're going to the fountain. There's going to be a lootable bucket near the fountain, which we need to pick up. There it is. And then the next ghost is a little girl who is around the fountain. Sammy is her name. There's our third candle. candle just up on the next side. The ghost name is Joseph Dierte. <laughs> Dierte. In front of his shack. And the last ghost is going to be just in front of the Skolomance instance. And there he is. Magistrate Marduk. Alright, we now have our five candles. We're going to go inside the ruins of Skolomance and off to the right. So take a right, then we're going to take a left. Straight ahead into this room of bones. And we are going to complete our little summoning ritual. Looks pretty neat. You click on the journal and it will start a cast. It'll put all the candles around it. And when it's finished, this is going to be your new entrance to the, I'll say new or the original Skolomance, the old one. So you can click on it, uh, click the interaction, and you can go ahead and enter. Now your Argent Commission will not work yet, so you're not able to collect Scourge Stones. Um, so I thought I needed it first, so I went back to Chillwind Camp, I got it. Um, but you actually need to unlock a quest by killing the last boss in Skolomance, uh, the old Skolomance, before you can actually loot them. So even though I have my Argent Dawn Commission on, they're not lootable to me. So you are going to have to make another trip. And you need 20 of these um, to unlock the vendor in Naxxramas. 20 of the Scorch Stones. So we jump down to skip two bosses because we only need to get the last boss here for it to really matter. And 
the boss locations on the map do not match uh, because the map is the new Skull of Man's bosses, uh, whereas this one is the old one. So once we get into the last room, you do have to go and clear each of the three areas, upper and lower, in order for the boss to spawn. Now, once you're able to loot Scourge Stones, you are going to get Scourge Stones dropping from these. So when you're farming this one, you might have to run the instance once or twice to get enough. Um, this is a pretty quick way to get them. Each one of these little end bosses gives Scourge Stones. But I'm not getting them, and I'm very confused because I've got the buff, I've got my RG Dawn Commission on, but I did not realize that there's a quest you have to get before it actually lets you loot them. But now you guys have benefited from, uh, from me figuring that out. And just sped up a little bit as we're running through here. All right, so you've got a quest now that's going to send you back to Light's Hope Chapel. This is in Eastern Plaguelands, so you're going to accept the quest. And again, we're going to run out of here, sped up, to get back to Light's Hope Chapel. Unless you have a hearth or some quicker way to get to Light's Hope Chapel. Um, for me, this is the quickest way, is running out and flying over. All right, so getting out of here, flying over to Light's Hope Chapel. Looking at my map a few times. Alright, here we go. Lights Hope Chapel. We are turning in the quest now. Alright, so you are now able to obtain Scourge Stones. So you can put on your Argent Dawn Commission. And you'll be able to loot them. Uh, once we finish this chain, you won't even need the Argent Dawn Commission anymore because you'll get a buff put on you um, to automatically take care of it. Um, we're now heading to Stratholm for our five minute run, and it is recommended that you bring a friend. It's 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 really tight to do solo. Um, it's a lot easier if you bring someone else. Uh, you also do need at least two Stratholm Holy Water. So if you don't have any, make sure you loot some from the crates around here. You'll need two of them. So we need to run around Nax to find an Eye of Nax Ramus. Uh, there's one just off to the left normally. Uh, it'll do a little yell, you kill it, and when you loot the body, you're going to see the Will of Nax Ramus. That's what one of the crates looks like right there. I've already got enough holy water. Uh, we're going to head into the live side, but we're not going all the way through the cathedral. So we'll just take a quick look at the map here. That's where we're going, where I've highlighted over in the corner. You will need a holy water for this step. So make sure you loot one. Try to get two on your way over there. Okay, so I've got a marker here. So before you do anything else, you're going to stop, let your friend run back towards the undead side. Um, do not clear any of the mini boxes yet. Uh, you want to wait until you have your buff. So once your friend is in place, you're going to use the Ward of Naxxramas and it will make a little porter portal. Then you're going to throw your holy water on the portal and it's going to start your five minute timer. So I'm just waiting for my friend to get over to where the X is on my map. I'm using it, it spawned the portal, use the holy water on it, and now you have your five minute timer started. Um, so you have to get through and clear the undead side now in five minutes or less. Again, if you're doing it solo, you need to move really fast to get over there. Um, I've got a friend who's clearing one way, and I'm going to clear the other way. So you go through, you clear each of the ziggurats, and then you go through to kill the Baron. So I'm going off to the left-hand side uh, when I enter the Baron's room. And I'm letting my friend Zazzy go and actually kill the Baron. So once he kills it, these gates are going to open up, and we're going to get an extra action button to use. Uh, if you're alone, you obviously have to run and kill the Baron yourself, and then come back out here. I had a friend with me, so I didn't have to go do that. So I've run in here. Here's my extra action button that I am using now. Boom, there we go. Alright, so now we have to go back to Light Soap Chapel to tell someone what's going on. Uh, obviously, if you didn't loot the Baron, go in there and loot him, you might get them out. And we're going to speed it up a little bit. Look at my little dwarf legs go. Alright, so again, this isn't one of those quests that tells you where to go. Um, it just says tell someone about it. So we're going to Lights Hope Chapel and we're looking for Angela Dos Santos. Her location can vary. For me, uh, you can see her sitting next to the chapel. You can kind of do a, a tar on her name, slash target, to find her. But there are a few different locations around Lights Hope Chapel that she can spawn, so you may have to look around.
once you complete this part of the quest, um, you are now able to start into the grappling hook quest for new Nax. Uh, before heading to Nax, you do need 20 invader scourge stones, three dark runes, which you can get from Skolomance or the auction house, and one black coffee. Um, there are a few vendors for that, the easiest one's a vendor in Stormwind. Uh, there is a portal in Eastern Plagueland, Synaxaramus, so that's one of the quicker ways to get to it, so you don't have to go all the way to Northrend. There we go. So I'm just going to fly over to that portal. Um, this is going to be the end. Uh, this was fairly long just to get the unlock to be able to get the grappling hook. My next video will show me going into Nax and actually getting the grapple hook completed. So we're going to go into Nax, we're going to loot the items, uh, and then we're going to get the extra vendor. Um, so you do have to earn Corruptor Scourge Stones in Nax, kill at least five bosses before you can unlock it. So stay tuned for part two. Uh, that's going to be assembling the grappling hook and getting the vendor. Thanks for watching.